In this video, I'm going to be fly fishing for wild brown trout. It's uh, the 5th of May. Um, I'm on a chalk stream in Dorset. Uh, it's been much warmer, but there's a nice southerly breeze. But again, it's quite windy and it's coming downstream. So maybe there's a chance to catch on a dry fly. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go because the only two wild brown trout I've caught this season have both been on nymphs. That's what I caught the last two fish on. It's lovely seeing her eyes. I'm going to give it a go. So there's my fly. Fly fishermen call them olives, I don't know why. They basically just mean mayfly, which is an upwing fly. It's sort of prehistoric really. You can see one or two flies dapping down on the water to lay eggs. Looks like the season's begun properly now. shelter in there so when people say mayfly that's what they're thinking of once you've caught one or two little ones you, um, you want to sort of hang fire until you catch a big one and for that you need to spot them hiding behind this bush and just hopefully in theory I should be able to get quite close to the fish that's definitely time to change the fly I think to what? that's the only pattern I've got it's a great big grey wolf and it's a flies online or cheap as chip 60p bay job but uh, it's nice and bushy nice and buoyant Early season, the fish won't care, I'm sure, as they've only just started to come off the water. Good grief, it's enormous. <laughs> so you're going to fish the water and just cast in spots where you think there will be fish, or you can fish for fish when they top. But with it being so early season, I think I'm probably going to have to do the it's often these little shallow bits that I used to ignore that you get some of the bigger fish. Just so well camouflaged, these faster bits of water, bigger fish can handle the current a little bit better. And they're often bits, they often are areas that get ignored by uh, little anglers. So the fish, once they've grown on a bit and they're eating minnows, they're more bothered about cover than they are. Anything else? There you go. Oh, that's a good fish that. He's done me. He's in the weed. I'm going to get that out. Oh, there he is. Isn't that funny? Minimise the... Um 
catch the fly to the net. Don't use the fly then. Or the net. small brown trout. Right, so the idea of that grey wolf, which I had on earlier, is that it's meant to be unsinkable, but um, it's a big old fly and it uh, is now waterlogged, finally. So I'm going to put this on. This is, um, excuse the silly hat. Yeah, there's a sherry spinner, that's what I'm putting on now. Um, a little bit more sparsely dressed, and I've, if I can tie that, then anyone can. I did a little video, I'll put a link on. That was a nice rise, really nice rise. I don't know if I've got that on camera or not. I was just about to say, I really like these types of um, runs of water because they're moving at a pace where I don't send a bow wave upstream. It's a nice challenging cast as well. You've got a foot of error. It's downstream. A black body, silver thread, not much of a thorax, and some CDC wing. Fly back, please. That's my fly. Didn't think I was going to catch that fish. One beautiful plump trout. Now uh, we're getting back in. That's gone. Cool. Rising just underneath this tree. I might have spooked him already, but it's feeding quite aggressively. Not sure I'm going to put a cast in. I really don't want to lose this fly. I've lost my fly. This beast is a Mohican mayfly. I can use that. I've got no back cast. Back to the roll casts, which make a nice old splash, especially in slack water like this, such a heavy fly. There we go. <laughs> hey! Whoa! Hey, what a lively fish! You crazy fool!